Hey guys, this is Ryguy Gaming here today, and today I am back with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Now, I'm sorry it's been a few days since my last video. Um, it's just been crazy with Christmas stuff, you know how it is. And so, hopefully there will be a video for the next couple days, um, except Sunday, of course, because I like to take breaks on Sunday. <laughs> just kind of like a day off from work. Um, but... Anyways, so let's hop into today's tutorial and today I will be teaching you um, how to avoid something that I see a lot of people fall victim to and that is positioning and sizing your GUIs correctly. Now when you import a GUI it can be kind of easy just to you know slap on the UI editor and just move stuff and resize it. The problem is when you do that it can vary across the size of your device. So as you can see here, when I change the size of my screen, or technically the size of my device, um, the label just stays in the same spot. It doesn't really scale to the size of my screen. So if I had a big monitor and I was positioning this stuff like I do here, and then when I open it up in like a play thing, or if somebody opens it on their monitor, this will be in kind of the same place, but it might look all wanky. And so today I'm gonna teach you how to make your GUIs look exactly the same across all monitors. And so the way to do that is you just want to edit their properties. Um, and inside of their properties, you'll notice that in the position and in the um, X and Y's there are two values there's the scale and the offset the offset is the studs number of like how you want your GUI to look or be positioned the scale is a percentage of the screen you want your GUI to occupy so for the position if I put 0.5 is the X scale like so my GUI will show up in the middle of my screen and or on the x-axis now this is according to the top left corner the top left corner is in the center of the screen on the x-axis and then if I do 0.5 on the Y now the top left corner is directly in the center of my screen and now when I use the UI dragging tool because I am messing with the scale instead of the offset it changes the scale for me so I only have to really set that I want to use the scale once now the real problem comes with the scaling and that's because when you insert a GUI it will already have a set scale um, based on an offset which is bad so you want to go ahead and change it to something I usually just do something like 0.1 comma 0 comma 0.1 comma 0 and what this does is it just sizes the GUI according to what percentage of the screen you want it to take up and now if you notice when I resize it the scale changes instead of the offset so what I mean by the scale is if I put this in the upper left corner and I set the size scale of the X here let me go in here to be 1 it will cover the entire screen in the X direction um, and no matter how I resize it it will always cover the entirety of the screen on any device or anything and no matter how I resize it it will always be the same relative size and so this is why sometimes when you're working on GUIs in studio and then you get into your game in Roblox your GUIs can look all jacked up and in the wrong spot because you might have your studio window like mine and then when you get in the game it's full screen or minus the borders of course and your GUI is in the wrong spot or it's sized weird and so hopefully this tutorial just helps you ease that frustration and be able to put your GUIs in the same spot every time. Um, you used to not be able to drag GUIs so it's really nice that you can do that now so I can just like center this and make it as big as I want. Um, 
well I guess I'll, I'd have to recenter it now but see now it's directly in the middle and it will always be directly in the middle no matter how big or small I make my screen so anytime you make a GUI just make sure you let it know let the studio know that you want to be working with the scale and not with the offset and you will have a lot better looking GUIs I know this was a short tutorial but if you enjoyed it if and if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe for future um, hopefully longer tutorials and also please be sure to share it with a buddy or something um, it helps just get these out there and I hope you all have a really good day and I will see you later Merry Christmas